Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. indices and the big tech stock in the United States. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, December 14, for, uh, 2020. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to subscribe and hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you'll get access to our signal service, our live stream, and also our full technical analysis. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the, you know, the S&P 500. And as you can see, we have gone a little bit higher today. We're up 0.17. And at this point, I am expecting a little bit of a pullback, but there are major support levels underneath here. First of all, 3,645 3, will be supportive. If that breaks, then we have another major support barrier here. That's roughly 3,600. That is roughly here, 3,600, because these are the previous highs here. The 20 exponential moving average is right there. So a, a pullback towards 3,600 is a major buy in this case. And we need a pullback in order to enter this market because we are on the edge of being overbought. And usually when that is the case, for example, over here, when we were overbought, it basically just collapsed to the downside. Same goes for here and so on. Uh, when these smart indices be become overbought, they um, act very aggressively to the downside so better to have a pullback a smaller pullback similar to this and instead of a complete collapse like this so a pullback towards the 20 exponential moving average is expected and that is basically your entry to to enter this market to buy it right here is quite risky it is possible for us to go uh, towards uh, 3700 uh, probably but that only means that the fall will be bigger Technical indicators are still very bullish for this market, so I'm waiting for a pullback in order to enter this market at this stage. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So Dow Jones, again, we're trading in this very narrow range here. Uh, we could basically get this a little bit higher into the, uh, the 20 exponential. That is 29,417 at this point. And that is probably going to be your floor. This is the highest for you, 30,116 um, is the highest. And uh, if that breaks, then of course we are going significantly higher. Stimulus news is what is driving this market at this point. You can see Boeing was up around 8% today. And, um, and, and of course that is just going to uh, increase um, the, the value of this index. Indice. And at this point, there's a lot of room to the upside. We are only at 64 in the RSI. So we could break this level and head towards 30,500 um, before breaking down from here. But I do believe that if the S&P and probably also the NASDAQ will fall tomorrow or on Monday session, then the Dow Jones will also follow those indices. So a pullback towards this level here is a major buy for this market. There's no in, no reason to basically sell this. It's basically every pullback is a buying opportunity at this stage. We are going to enter a new uh, bullish run for the next foreseeable future in these three indices. And there's a lot of money going to be uh, put into the market the coming years, and that will just increase um, the value of these indices. You can see the last time uh, the Biden, uh, the Obama Biden administration. This is basically the run from 2009 is from here and all the way to 2016. We were here. That was a bullish run. That's roughly 116 uh, percent. This indice um, increased within that that time period. That's the biggest bull run in basically in history. So we'll probably see something similar in the coming future. So let's look at uh, the NASDAQ. And as you can see, we have broken above this uh, uh, previous levels here and we could basically get rid of this now. 
because at this point we can also increase this a little bit to roughly there. So 12,200, give or take, is going to be your floor. So pull back towards this, uh, this level here will be major support. And at this point, I am expecting a pullback. So um, most tech stocks are nearly overbought at this stage. Some of them are starting to give, uh, give back uh, some of their gains uh, earlier this month or last month, I, I should say. Um, we are at 81 in the NASDAQ. It is significantly overbought at this stage. So a pullback here is expected towards this 1200, uh, 12,200 level. And um, yes, that is just a buying opportunity. To buy it here at this current stage is not a good idea. Uh, a pullback is basically what we are looking for, uh, roughly um, 200, 250 points. And then you can basically enter this market with a buy. So let's look um, at the big tech stocks. We'll look at Netflix first. So next, uh, Netflix has been rallying for the last week. And today it gave most of those gains back. And uh, we'll probably see Netflix fall back towards the 20 exponential. That's around uh, 492. And in worst case scenario, back to 482. If the Nasdaq starts um, falling again, this is one of those uh, stocks that is uh, going to be affected uh, in tomorrow's fall or on Monday's fall, which is most likely going to, uh, to is probably going to occur before we basically rally to these very highs here. So at this point, technical indicators are turning around. So there's a lot of room to the upside. There's also a lot of room to the downside. But they are turning around, especially the stochastic is warning us. And so is the CCI. And also you can see here the bull bench. We were on the top of the bull bench band and we're turning towards the 20 moving average at this point. So I'm just going to stay away from this, see how far it falls, and then enter this market with a buy again. So the very floor is here at the 150 moving average, around 482. So let's look at Microsoft. And as you can see, um, Microsoft probably will fall a little bit, but for 212 is going to be the floor here. If that breaks, then we have the 100 moving average right underneath. And if that breaks, then we have the 209 level and then also the 150 moving average. So there's a lot of support right underneath here. And there's no reason to basically panic that we will have a couple of collapse in the stock. It never does. Um, the lower it goes, the better the, or the cheaper it becomes, the better the basically the buying opportunity. So we are fairly trading flat at this point. There's not been a lot of action in Microsoft stock. Um, we'll probably also see the next coming days that we'll just trade flat. And then when the Nasdaq starts increasing again, we'll also see this come into life. So let's look at Apple. Apple is getting close to this range here at the, this price level at 125. I think that we are going to see, uh, if we manage to get up here, then we'll fall towards the uh, 20 exponential uh, before going higher. If we get all the way down to the 100 moving average, then of course, this is a major, major buying opportunity for, for Apple stock because the 100 moving average is basically the floor in this market. Very highs are 138, but I think that we're going to see a pullback at least to the 20 exponential as around 118 before we turn around again. So do expect a fall um, tomorrow's session or on Monday's session. Um, so I am just waiting for what basically is going to happen in this market because I do expect a pullback in um, most of these tech stocks. So let's look at Amazon. Amazon is very similar to Microsoft. It basically has been trading flat for uh, several days now, for at least five days. Nothing really has happened here. And uh, what I am expecting is basically a, basically a, a rally towards these very highs. It is um, December holiday season. People are going to buy most of the gifts online. That should benefit uh, uh, Amazon and um yeah, but at this point, we have not seen that. We have not seen that rally. 
So it may come later on in the month. Um, at least if we pull back from here, the bottom would be around uh, 3,090. Uh, but I am expected a rally to the these very highs. If that doesn't happen this month, I don't really see when it's going to happen. Then we'll in the foreseeable future. But this is also a weight at this point. The lower it basically gets, the better the buy-in for this for the stock. So let's look at Tesla. Tesla has a rally yet again and has stopped short of these very highs here. At this point, we are significantly overbought in Tesla stock. I would have preferred a pullback all the way down towards the 20 exponential, probably the four, uh, 40 exponential before rallying here. But it has rallied again, and uh, yet we just we are just going to witness a bigger fall in this market, similar to what we saw here, where we fell roughly 10%. That is going to occur if it's going tomorrow or sometimes next week. But it's just not possible for this to just rally. Um, to the ends of the earth it's going to have a massive fall if we just continue with this with this uh this rsi which is an 82 at this point but technically in the garage for tesla stock are very bullish at this point probably down cci is um, the only indicator here that's not bullish it's basically flat at this point um and there's some room here in the bullinger band to the upside we are right underneath the uh over limit of the bullinger band but I do expect a bigger fall due to this very high RSI. So buying at this stage, not a good idea. Pull back towards the 20, that's uh, a, your buying opportunity for Tesla stock. So let's look at Facebook. Facebook, as expected, fell quite, um, well, quite a lot. We From the highs here from yesterday, today is roughly 2.8%. Um, at this stage, I think that we are going to go all the way down towards the 50 moving average. So we're going to see, or the, the, first of all, we'll test the 20 at uh, 278. Um, if that breaks, then of course, we will test the 50. That is almost a guarantee. We can see that the stochastic is about to turn around and uh, we will see this um, stock uh, go lower before we go higher. But the lower we get, especially when we get to this area here, around 265, 269, that is your entry. The closer you get to the to the 100 moving average, yeah, the better. So let's look at Google. So it looks like, like Google is running out of steam at this point. It looks like we are going to see another test of the 20, uh, 20 exponential moving average around 1777. Um, we are not overbought at this stage, but just these indicators just look like they're getting exhausted. Both the MACD, RSI, the CCI, and we are basically crushing the top of the Bollinger Band. But the stochastic is still very bullish. But this, this candlestick here is not a good sign. We mostly see a red candle tomorrow heading towards the 20 um, exponential, something similar to this before we rally again. So, hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome, welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.